Hello, what is up, YouTube? Today, I wanted to try something a bit different. So, a couple weeks ago, I found out that I actually am either allergic or have an intolerance to gluten. Now, I'm not just being one of those people who just, every time they go into any place is like, Does that have gluten in it? I don't eat gluten. No, I actually went and got blood work done and found out that I have an allergy or an intolerance for gluten, which explains a whole lot about what was happening in this whole area for who knows how long. But in my couple of weeks of avoiding gluten, I have found out that literally everything has gluten, even like something that is very pointless and has no need to have gluten in it. Like it will be like a piece of lettuce and someone's like, put gluten in that because it will make it taste better. And one of the things that I am most disappointed about is beer because I drink beer all the time. Well, I guess I should say drank beer all the time because pretty much every beer is made with like some kind of wheat, barley, malt thing that has gluten in it. And talking to some people, they say that gluten-free beers are never good, but I've never met someone who has actually tried them. I've just met people or know people who have heard from other people that they aren't good. So what I decided to do because I am a beer lover is I went out and bought some gluten-free beers and I'm going to try them for myself and review them for you guys. But anyway, yes, I went to, if you live in Canada, I went to LCVO and they only had these five. And it took me about 10 minutes of walking around to find a shelf that was probably like this and two rows that contain these kinds of beers that are gluten-free. A lot of them may have been covered in dust because as you probably know, no one really goes to buy beer and gets gluten-free beer, except this guy. But anyway, enough of the talking, let's start with the review. So I'm first gonna start off with Daora Dam Premium Quality Lager Beer, crafted to remove gluten. Now, one thing that I kind of forgot is that this is not a twist off and I don't want to go and get a bottle opener, so I have a trusted desk here that is going to open the bottles for me. It smells like a normal beer. It looks like beer. It looks like beer. It smells like beer. Maybe it'll taste like beer. It tastes very watery, but it tastes like a kind of a normal beer. I would say it tastes like Budweiser with water in it. That would be my description of it. It tastes, yeah, just like one of those beers that you're just like, I'm a college kid, I don't want to pay a lot of money for a decent kind of beer. So you would probably just go with this one. It has rice in it, that's weird. But anyway, yeah, the aura just, watered down beer. I don't know what kind of rating system I should have, so I'm just gonna make faces of how I feel after drinking the beer. And then this one has left me with a meh. So, so far, meh. Next up, we've got the St. Peter's G Free. I like the bottle. It is very big and promising to be decent. Again, not a twist off. So far, they all look normal. For some reason, I'm expecting them to be like an odd color. I don't know why, but I'm gluten-free stuff sometimes just looks weird. It smells fruity. It's from the UK, who knew? So UK, uh, I'm judging your entire culture based off of this one beer. It is very sweet. I'm trying to think of like a normal beer to compare this to, but I cannot really think of one, but it is very sweet. And I, I don't forget what kind of beers those are. I think they're IPA, is it IPA? People who drink beer, please tell me if it's an IPA. But it is very sweet and I'm normally not a huge fan of these, but if you are, I would suggest the G Free from St. Peter's. So far, like none of them have had an off beer taste, which is what I'm waiting for to be like, oh my god, what is this? Yeah, UK, you did a decent job. Now, on my writing system of faces that I make with this, I would say it's slightly better than the first one, so it'd be like a... Uh. 
Next up, we got new grist. Yep, once again, not a twist off. Bottle has defeated me, and I need to get a bottle opener. So I don't know why I'm sniffing them. This it, it just I think I look like a creep just but for some reason I just feel the need to smell it to make sure that it actually smells like a beer. So far, they've all smelled like a beer, which uh, thank thank you. Now this just looks like apple juice. This this one so far looks the least like a beer to me. It is too clear. Can't go always go based off of looks. It's on the inside what counts, so hopefully what's on the inside of this tastes good. At first, it just tastes like some kind of sparkling water, but now it tastes like beer. See, it's like a weird, some kind of like flavored sparkling water, and now the beer kicks in. So I don't know how I feel about that. It's like good, but also kind of weird because you don't want to be drinking some kind of water that just transforms into beer. New discovery. After it sits for a while, now I just taste candy in my mouth. What kind of candy? I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm okay with it. This, this has layers to it. New grists, you get a, yeah. I, maybe I should change it up a bit for how the whole roller coaster of emotions I went through just happened. So it'd be like a... I don't know. I don't do this for a living. I don't know how to rate things. Don't judge me. Next up is Bards. Not the greatest smell, but then again, I don't know why I'm smelling it. This looks like beer. I'm very confused by the taste that is happening in my mouth. I don't know how to explain this. I kind of like it, but I don't know how to explain it. Like, it tastes like beer. It tastes like beer, and then it doesn't. So that I don't know how to explain this. It is good, but it had something else in it that makes it taste, like, a bit different. On my rating, I guess I would have to give it a... Because it's making me think, like, what is what is in the... I guess I could read... Hold on. I'm going to read the ingredients if there are any. Maybe it's the yeast and the hops. And finally, last but not least, we've got Nickel Brook Gluten-Free. 5.8%. Wow. That's actually... It smells very sweet. This looks like kind of like lemonade in a way. I don't know if you can kind of see the coloring of it. There it looks like I just pissed in the cup and I I did not do that. That would be a completely different titled video if that's what this was. Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What just happened in my mouth? No. 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 Nope. Not. Not for me. This tastes like this is very fitting that I am wearing a plaid shirt because this tasted like I just went into the woods and chopped down a pine tree and then just somehow, like, what was that? The juicer from That's So Raven just took all the pine and just like squeezed them all and got all the juice out of it and then put like a dash of beer into it. It, it is a pine tree in beer form, but it's gluten-free. So that is the gluten-free beer taste test, I guess. I don't really know how to end this video because I've never really done anything like this before, but normally when people do something like this, they kind of do something like a bit extreme to end it. So I figured that I should just combine all of the beers, drink it, and try not to puke. Oh yeah, I forgot. This one on my rating gets a... 
because that's literally the face that I made while drinking it. But yes, give me a second while I make this horrible drink. There's already some of whatever pine tree was left in this, so I'll just add on to this. And welcome back. Oh god, there's a hair in it. No. And now that that's gone, it's gonna be great. The pine's kicking it now, oh, oh. Pine, pine. Gone, cool. I, I don't know if you guys saw what happened on here, but I drank it and it was actually good at first. That's probably why I looked surprised because it was like, oh wow, this tastes like a beer. And then for this stupid pine just came out of nowhere and ruined that entire experience. My burps taste like pine now. Well, YouTube, that is it for this video. I hope that you did enjoy this. I don't know what this was, this taste test review of gluten-free beers. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. For anyone who is gluten-free, whether it be a personal choice or if it's like me where my body goes into shutdown, lockdown, nothing's okay mode. I think the Bards one was my favorite, but they don't compare to actual beer. We will never get the same taste of, from these that we get from actual beer. So I feel like we should just move on. We should just stick to liquor. We get wine and whiskey. We can be classy and trashy. But anyway, YouTube, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, let me know by clicking the thumbs up down below. And also let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy these things because now that I can't really have gluten anymore, I'm going to have to change a lot about what I eat. So there's probably gonna be a bunch of different random foods that I'm gonna have to try. So if you guys wanna see me try and eat random gluten-free snacks, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if there's other things that you guys think I should try, let me know in the comments down below as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel by clicking all those great buttons down below. And if you really did enjoy this, you can even share this with your friends. But anyway, YouTube, that is it for this video. I hope that you did enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Bye.